Oh, my fingers are over the record. <laughs> okay, uh, basically this is something that will be included uh, in the uh, in the sale if, if you want it um, at no extra charge. What we used are these um, electric fence stakes uh, to, uh, to use for signage and also to put up uh, uh, red, white, and blue banners around the, uh, the trailer. You see all our boxes are in the background. Like I said, we've been using the trailer for a uh, sort of a shipping hub since we've been eBay and everything and selling everything. And uh, we just throw them out on the ground and, and we'll give you kind of a tour of the trailer uh, as we go. But the, um, the big black stakes here drive down to the ground. We always put Velcro on the back of whatever sign that we wanted to, uh, to use. Pull the sign off and show them. And what we do is just, uh, we've got, I think, four of them with Velcro on them, and we just stick the, we take the signs and make our own signs and stick on it. Uh, give you like a little entrance and exit part, or it can put your uh, price list on it, whatever you want to do. But like I said, we've got 16 of the black ones, 16 of the gray ones. The gray ones are just uh, uh, lighter duty. And also what we'll include, um, like I say, if, if wanted, I would think that any, any, uh, um, restaurant trailer or anything or catering trailer or anything like that would, would, would love to have these they're, um, they're almost brand new we, we, we used them very little but you'll see the, the, the red white and blue uh, triangle uh, banners and I've got absolutely just hundreds of feet of them and uh, what they'll do is that they will uh, they can hook onto the uh, to the stakes and get some attention you know if you want to fly them around the trailer it just shows up really well. The red matches the trailer. Uh, if you're going to keep the trailer red, okay, baby, dropping down there. You see, I've got uh, just show them the wads that we got there. The we just got just just chunk that one over to the sides, okay. We got all different lengths. We got uh, I can't remember how many hundreds of dollars of um, of um, pendants banners that we got in there. Like ten rolls. Okay, there's 10 rolls total, and there's uh, just hundreds of feet. I don't know how many. But anyhow, all that uh, would go at, uh, with it at no charge. Now, I don't see well, so if I fall or anything, just kind of hang with me. Okay, this is the, uh, the back of the trailer. I get, I'm sorry, I get lost there. Grab the tape measure there, baby, and we're going to measure for the people that want to know the measurements. Now, this, come right here and measure the, uh, put your tape across that, uh, that fiberglass crack that was on here when we got it <clears throat> just to show you okay baby move the tape okay just so they can see a reference as to what size okay that's good now the uh, it's an old retired coca-cola trailer uh, awesome like I say all the the kids love it they just automatically come up and ask for food and and drink and all even though we didn't uh, we didn't carry that kind of stuff. We always kept something in there for the kids in case they came up and just gave it to them. Now the tires, like I say, the tires look awesome. Come put a tape on the across the across the tray. The tread, what? so we can see how deep the tread is. Let me see if I can get it better. This is not a very professional video. Can you see the tread, baby? You tell me. Um, no. Ow! This is black. You can't. Well, you can kind of see it. I don't know. Sort of. I put my finger down there. I mean, they still got good tread left on them. Uh, they look really good. I don't see any. Oh, dry, there you can see it. Okay. I don't see any dry rot on them. Uh, like I say, they're they're. I would think pretty good shape. I just wouldn't travel a long, long distance on them. Uh, so, like I say, if if you're going to travel a long distance, I would recommend to buy it now and and get us to put some brand new radials on it. All right, we're going to come around, and unlock the door, show you the locks on the doors, and and uh, how everything works. Now, uh, I told one fellow that I would show him the tongue here too. The tongue, should, that pin right there baby behind the, the carpeting. This thing? Yeah, all right, you saw it. No, don't, don't oh. pull it out. All right, that's your pin. When you get to where you're going, all you do is there's a, there's a little latch underneath that you pull out and this entire tongue will remove. You have to have, of course, you have to have the four leveling jacks down, which it has the leveling jacks built into it. You jack those down, and then that whole entire tongue comes off the trailer so that it looks a lot better, and you know, a lot better for presentation. Now, I've also had people call me and tell me that they had arthritis and had trouble getting around the things. You'll see that I added the big, huge uh, stainless steel grab bar on the side there, and it's anchored really well. 
and will take a take a, 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 a beating. It's a it's a good heavy. Uh, I weigh over 300 pounds, so it'll pull me out there. So go ahead and unlock the door, baby. I'm gonna show you this side while she's unlocking the door, and then oh wait, let's see, deadbolt. Scooter to the side. You got the handle and the deadbolt lock, and both of them use the same key, and we got multiple keys for it. Okay, now also notice right here, hold the door. That's all right, let it go. Turn, go ahead and turn the light on. I'm going to show in a second. All right, now there is a uh, there's a place for a handle. Come right here and point to this, baby. There's a place right there for a handle, and you can put uh, a little metal handle or vice grips or whatever. And when you're inside the trailer, all you do is turn that, and it's a it locks the deadbolt so that when you're inside, you got security. Nobody's going to come in on you. Now the uh, I don't know what all these things say. What does that say? Special tra trailer tire load and inflation data. Okay, there you go. That's uh, some good information to have. All right, pull the door back a little bit. Let me get a picture of these. And I don't know what these things say because I don't see well. It's just a bunch of numbers. But I'm going to get you a, whatever's a bunch of numbers here so that you know what you got. Okay. <clears throat> now, down here under the... Now, it's got a... I want to think it's a 25-foot cord uh, that plugs in to plug it into electricity. Now, what does that... I, I, Coca-Cola Refurbished by Coca-Cola Consolidated Columbus Refurbishing Center, Columbus, Georgia. Vehicle number and another number. Okay. All right. We got the lights on. Mm -hmm. All right. Now, I'm going to let her take me going in. I, I'm, I'm a big, fat dude, so just you see the bar. I mean, it'll move the whole trailer. It's not going to come off. Put the bar, good grab, and come inside. Now, when we come inside, I'm sorry, I look horrible. I'm not. A, I'm not meant for TV. I'm meant for radio. Okay. Now we've still got some boxes in here, but I'm gonna just try and work around them. Uh, you see the 30 amp service box. Everything's in good shape. You see how we anchored the uh, the stainless steel handle onto the onto the trailer. So that it's good and heavy, it's there, it's not going anywhere. Uh, bolted top and bottom. Now we cut out a section of counter and we installed this uh, cabinet for our, uh, for all of our um, goods that we use, our papers, our things like that. And you'll see, baby, put a tape measure on that front to back and side to side. Uh, the cabinet. Side by side is what? 46 and a half. 46 and a half inches. Front to back. 22 and a half. 22 and a half inches. And height. Looks to be about four feet, but I'm not going to say. Four feet and one inch. Okay, four feet, four feet and one inches. That's pretty close for a blind man. That's not bad. Now we use uh, uh, straps on it. We've got big metal um, eyelet hooks at the bottom that it straps down to and tightens down to. Pull that arm back around here, baby. Yeah. All right, now this is an articulating arm that we always used for our uh, computer. It could be used for a small cash register or anything like that. Don't, just, it's okay. I can show them later how to use it. But it'll flip over and uh, do all kinds of things. You can bring it out of the way when there's people uh, at the window or anything so that they can't um, get to your money or anything like that. Okay, now, um, you see inside it's a big three door. Oh, I'm sorry, here's the shelf all the way around. How deep is that shelf, Anna? Um, I think I, I think it's about 12 inches, I think it's... Wait, how deep? Yeah, how, like, from, from the wall to the... No. What? From the wall to the edge of the... Like... No. Oh, okay, do okay. that, do that, do that first. Okay. Okay, height-wise clearance. Ten and a half. Ten and a half inches, and then you got that big lip there. Okay. Do it from outside, baby, so you can see. I got it. Okay. It's eleven inches. Okay, eleven inches deep, and you see it runs all the way around the trailer uh, for storage. If you're using uh, for cups or anything like that, or plates, I mean, you can put just absolutely. I would think probably, I would guesstimate it about a million cups or so up there. <laughs> Um, all right, then we got the three windows. It's an old three window coke trailer. Uh, and I'm going to show you here how to open it, and we're going to open the, the windows. 
Okay, just pull on the chain and let it go. You'll see that the you'll see that everything works excellent. The uh, the arms, the hydraulic arms, do a great job of opening it up, holding it open. Go ahead and open the back one too, baby. Now here we had had uh, when we bought the trailer. I told you about the holes in it. <clears throat> now the holes in it, I, I'm, I'm guessing were for cash register, maybe for a um, uh, soda jerk or something of that nature. But we took, we left those holes because we normally fed wires down through them. Uh, now over here you'll see where it was cut out for a cooler. And we took what was cut out over here for this cabinet and replaced that on the, uh, on the counter there. The one on the end we left open and you'll see that Anna walks up into it, step up into it baby. So they, it gives you a lot better access to, to, to people when you're serving people. Turn around like at the... It gives you a lot better access to get to people, you know, close up if you're uh, uh, serving. Good thing to do is like, like take orders over here, and give orders over here. Now the other side, we just took a piece of uh, three-quarter inch plywood, cut and put in there. Everything can be removed if you want it to. Uh, or you can put some melamine in there so it matches the countertops better. Go ahead and open this other window, baby. Okay, you see, I mean, it's it's. The trailer feels tremendously bigger than it actually is. Oh, there's a brand new uh, spare tire, um, uh, never been used on it. Uh, now I'm going to shoot down low so you can see everything. It's hard to show the scale of everything. Now Anna is, uh, she's about seven feet tall, and you see that. Uh, no, she's five foot three. she's five foot three, and you see the space above her head. Let me get back here so you can see better. And we'll, uh, we're fixing to put a tape on it too. So uh, just bear with me just a second. Hold still. Tape. Tape. On what? We're going to put it to the ceiling. Tape. Just go to the ceiling right there where you're at. Okay, it's uh, seven foot uh, clearance on the inside. I hope you can still hear me. I hope we're still here. Hello, my hands are the camera. Okay, I'm not a professional here. Uh, seven feet tall on the inside. You see lights, like I said, daylight daylight balance lamps on both sides. Uh, really bright, really nice trailer. You got all kind of storage space underneath the counters. I've still got, like I said, I've still got some of my stuff in here, so just excuse me. Walk around over there, baby, so I can get. Um, but you see, there's just tons of storage space. There's also drain holes in the uh, in the diamond plate. Uh, you know, if you were to spill anything or whatever, it will run out. Um, so yeah, I think that's about as good as I can do. Um, right. Hope you enjoy it. Uh, hope you buy it. Thank you.